and welcome to Time of the Month, my monthly vlog series. This month you will see a lot of stuff filmed right here in this apartment, which is something that I talk about a little bit more in the outro at the end. In the meantime you will see a lot of Dodie Clark singing, me and Daniel J. Layton sitting on various sofas, and also my wonderful trip to play this live. This is April. Is it another scooter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for all the cooking you do! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all those super noodles at 4am! Right. <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. Because <laughs> you're a child. It is Dodie's birthday! And I'm cooking up a little veggie pasta bake. It has to be veggie because Daniel J. Layton is coming for dinner and he is vegetarian. The key ingredient to a veggie pasta bake is lots of cheese. So much cheese that you think, hmm, is that not a healthy amount of cheese? Is that potentially too much cheese for a human? Ah, yay, yeah. okay. Hi everyone, I'm a really great boyfriend <laughs> um, and I got her these yeah. flowers, which is prettier, or I know what you'll say. Hello. 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 This is the longest time I've not seen you since Same. the divorce. That sounded like it was our divorce. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese is a vegetable. It's not not a vegetable. Yes, it is. Sure, but yeah. No, I don't. Ah, you do. Sure. This motion that you can see me making is definitely me grating cheese. Oh. Insert comedy jokes here. <laughs> How are you, Jack Howard? I'm better now. <laughs> As opposed to when? I'm pretending I'm wanking, Hazel, for the for the camera. Okay? Dan, I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> I know, I really like it. It's fun to I'm watch. gonna do this. I'm and it's gonna be tasty. I'm sure it smells great. I've put some meat in. Just great. one piece. Okay. <laughs> See if you can mystery. find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sure. How much did you want? Not all of that, but it's in there. Should I lock it in? <laughs> and it's well, gonna be dragged. <laughs> Ta -da! If I drop this on camera, it's gonna well, be really funny. Oh, it would be funny. <laughs> One pasta. Oh my god, get <laughs> 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 We're about to surprise Dodie. She has no idea what's happening. No idea. <laughs> to 200,000 subscribers. Yay! And that was 
lovely. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> Finally feels like summer is coming. I've just had a little little day off before a very, very, very busy week. Hey, little darling. It seems like you. It seems it's been you. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. the monkey! Yay. Here's Christopher Walken everyone! We're going to see the Jungle Book, look. <laughs> this is stitches. I haven't been vlogging a lot lately and I'll tell you why. I've been very ill. And then I thought I was better and then I wasn't and I've been vomiting all night and I've put my head on and I'm going to this premiere because I'll be damned if I'm going to miss it. I'll be damned <laughs> if I miss it. That was a Christopher Walken impression. And... <laughs> damned! I'll be damned! Uh, so I'm going and everything's very hot right now. Everything's just very hot and sexy. Fuzzy. Oh, fuzzy. Oh, yeah. Socialising. How are you? I'm doing some you look great, actually. It's a lovely shot. I'm quite, um, I've got a bit of uh, tan on today. I don't know. My name's first, as yeah. it should be. Open it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice. Hello, Dodie. Dodie's had a very busy day. One, The Jungle Book was very, very, very good. Highly recommend that you go see it. I really liked it. Good family film, just a good family film. We're always picking apart films. not going to pick apart, it's a good film. Um, two, yesterday I spent the day with Andrea and Becky writing, getting a few ideas down for a new series that we'd like to write, which is all very exciting, very early stage stuff. But this is a little bit of what that looked like. She is, look, that's her eyes. <laughs> Oh writing extraordinaire, and Jay. Yeah, we're writing something. What are we doing, babe? Number one. I haven't done that in ages. No, you haven't, Chris. Um, we're writing a really cool thing. <coughs> Brilliant. And, and Paul Neesey's helping, so is Becky. Paul Neesey's helping, and so is Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll be good. Right, I love you guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Three, I'm here now today with Daniel J. Layton. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. That's really good. I'm yeah. to you. Um, he's just filmed a little collab video a little with me. Collaborative video. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been last time was probably Christmas. It's Dan fine. is now off to meet with the Truman. I'm going to a public house with the fat. Fatter craft. Fatter Brilliant. Crafts. You've said it now. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to make some dinner for mm. myself. I haven't cooked in a while. I'm going to cook. I'm going to chill i might watch a film i might get started on this edit and then i'm gonna get up nice and early and do this edit will you see cat episode one of people versus adrian simpson for me no i have too many other things to watch that's fine from one sofa to another these are the voyages of hazel and dan <laughs> today i edited the video that we did yesterday i had a shower i've also sort of been just like getting ready for going to playlist next week oh dan i'm sorry you're not going to playlist i will miss you Hello. It's oh, Dodd-a-Loddle. Given up learning. What? <laughs> <laughs> You've been in there for literally record. 20 minutes. Dodie, Dodie and Jack went to learn, <laughs> learn a song about 20 minutes ago. Tell us, Dodie. Listen, what? I want to write one. Do you have any ideas? Did song. you just come in here and ask us to write a song for you and Jack because no, you've given up? No, it's not for instance. Summer holidays. Bananas. Always the real thing. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. It's, it's always, always the real thing. thing. That's already a song. I really feel like we've helped. Bye. You're welcome. That's just, that's the kind of that's shit it. we do. That's, that's it. just how we roll. Having fajitas later. Mm. Fajitas. Chicken fajitas. Chicken fajitas. Jack's made fajitas. Oh, fajitas. Oh, Dodie's very happy. I've never oh, seen a woman oh, more happy. Oh. Why are they dogs? Oh, go. Oh Jesus! 
It looks really funny on camera. It's like heaven just emerged in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I am oh. Jesus. Doing a spot of shopping. Where are we? It's a mega mate. <laughs> like that. I feel like the driver from Drive. You do look like the driver from Drive. This is great. Don't mind me, I'm just being a clothes horse. That's all I'm good for. That's all I'm actually good for. Spot of shopping done. Also had a little bit of lunch and ate a little wrap in a park in the sun, which is bloody nice because I haven't seen the sunshine in about a year. What I wanted to draw your attention to was this. Thanks very much to Grace at Disney, who's a lovely lady who gets us into these kinds of things. I went for a wax this morning. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Don't recommend it, but I've started, so I'm gonna continue doing it. <laughs> Gone on holidays, has to be done. Awful experience, awful. Why do we do this to ourselves, I'll never know. Also, I like it. Don't, I'm not gonna leave that in, am I? God. We're also going to the hairdressers to get today like a pair of absolute assholes. So sad, but my life is so There, she doesn't want to be on camera. That's it. Woo! Oh, and she's gone. That's it. That's it. And there he is. There's Sam. Sam has Jack's there. Better do a nice job. I have to look at that. <laughs> I would like to talk to you, if I may, about our 3D glasses, which are weird. I'm going to try and demonstrate. I will. Through this one, the left one, you can see stuff. So that's fine. Let's do the right one. Nothing! Look at that. You're not helping because I can't move with your hand. Let go. I'll control the glasses. Can't see the screen. Can't see people. Look at that. Magic! I don't, I don't give permission to Well, then don't be in it. Don't be in frame, say so you don't want to be in give frame. Permission. Fucking move out of frame then. Look, update. It's been a lovely evening. Thanks very much. The film was very good. It is. It's more great. on that in more detail when I'm not drunk, which I currently am. I'm not. Because this one has ployed me full of alcohol. And himself. And tomorrow, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes. I'm gonna not put makeup on. I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna tidy a bit. Hazel's so exciting. <laughs> I'll love seat in premium economy all for myself, just gonna enjoy that. Hang on, wait, look who it is. Your flight just got better. This twit's only gone and got himself a seat beside me. He was supposed to be back in steerage. Yesterday I rang up being like, can I get a premium seat please? You know how much it was gonna cost? 3,000 pounds. Today, just under 200 quid. 150. 150 quid, mate. Also, the only seat available was the one next to me. I'm not even joking. That was the only this. It's so happy when you saw Orlando. Orlando. I love you, Orlando. 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 Thank you, I'm talented. So pretty. Hi. Orlando. Orlando. I love you, Orlando. Sea World and Disney and Pod Pod Go And what vlog of a convention would be complete without a little visit to Louise's hotel room? There okay. she is, the woman herself. Yes. If you're not in a vlog, sat on a bed, surrounded by the remnants of <laughs> room, room service. This it's just not right. It's, it it wouldn't be right. It's not I right. wouldn't feel it's right putting that on the internet. It's not right. But, but it's okay. okay. If that was in there. Because yeah. I'm going to make it. Anyway. anyway. afternoon by the pool with friends and now we're off out to dinner with full screen um we're taking jack out to dinner because he's made that series with him as you know the series he's making he's already fucking talking about so we're going out for dinner with them and i'm wearing the lovely dress that he got me because he never fucking shuts up about it it's a great dress well i've gone and fucked up slightly this morning um when we arrived, myself and Jack both got like a, a, a welcome pack with an itinerary in it. And I think what's happened is I like picked up his one <laughs> and saw at the bottom that it said that there was a meetup this morning. I've tweeted that I had a meetup this morning, got loads of replies, and then sort of slowly it dawned on me that I hadn't really heard anything else about this 
meetup I had this morning. And that maybe I didn't actually have one. So yeah, it transpires I didn't. So Jack's gone off for his meetup. I think he's in the same room as like Dodie and Tom and the guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit jealous really which is silly but I really would have liked to meet some of my audience when I was here and I've had quite a few tweets from people saying that they'd like to meet me and yeah a bit of a fuck up really new plan I'm gonna go hijack the other guys meet up and say hello and see how everyone's getting along
a mental breakdown in a weather spoon. Tom has the footage. <laughs> we now cross live to Tom's footage of that. It was just really intense. This is Hazel's reaction to a ride we went on. It was just so fucking intense. Oh wow, wow, it's coming out. This, there we go. The context, this is coming out like 20 minutes after the ride. I tried to hold it together. I've tried to be really normal. All I told you about holding things in. I was like, I'm just going to get some shit in. to go to bed we just got back from the big party at universal everyone's very tired <laughs> Corey opens the fucking door across the hall from us is like pizza new episode of game of thrones and we're like sure <laughs> i guess uh, i'm like oh yeah good night it's a nice yeah, this is just that. he's borrowed a hdmi cable from someone on twitter quote unquote <laughs> you gonna do a speech Corey? get the speech quick 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 quick, quick, quick. <laughs> past few months about home and what that is and what it means to me. My whole life home has been a house on the north side of Dublin and you know for obvious reasons that's where I grew up. The place is familiar to me and when I picture it I'm always for some reason stood on the street outside. I can just see it all so clearly. I can walk through the house in my mind and I know every little corner of every room. I know the colours and the textures of the sofa and the carpet and the wallpaper and the curtains. I know the, the taste of the food that I eat there. I know the smell of every room because every room smells different. I know the sound of the central heating coming on in the morning or the porch door slamming or my mother's footsteps coming up the stairs. I know where every little creak in the floorboard is in my room and, and if I step on a certain place, if that's gonna be really loud in the middle of the night when I come in drunk. Um, <laughs> that's just the physical aspect and obviously home is so much more than that. It's the people that you come home to, the fact that that's where my family have always been. And even though my two brothers and my sister have moved away, they come back there, this is where we come back to, it's the home. And when I stand in that house, I guess home is everything external and internal to me all at once. Little aside, a very weird thing about growing up, and some of you may not have done this yet, is when you first call somewhere else home. <laughs> it's a very strange sensation. So now, like when I'm going back to Ireland, I'll say to my friends, I'm going home for the weekend. But then when I've sort of had my weekend there, I'll say to my mom that I'm going home to London because this is my home now too. And that's where it gets even more complicated. Because the home that I've made for myself here is not linked to one particular place. It's the life that I've made for myself here and more than anything, I think it's the people in it that make this feel like home now. If my home life is in disarray for any reason, then that affects every other aspect of my life. I mean, you saw me in January. I was so miserable living in that apartment because it 
didn't feel at home to me anymore. It just became this place that I had been really sad in for a long time and that I had grieved in. And yeah, it was really, really affecting me. All that aside, because <laughs> that's in the past now, I noticed watching this month's footage that without even realizing, this has become my new home now. I share it with one of my closest friends and it's frequently full of people I love who love me back. I'm making happy memories here. It's the place I feel safe and warm and comfortable and where I can just be me, no facade, no pretense, because my life is full of these wonderful adventures and that's great and I'm very thankful for them, but at the end of each one, I need somewhere that I can just, you know, come back to and kick off my heels and take off my makeup and let my hair down and get into my PJs and <laughs> climb into bed and feel at home. And I have that now and that makes me very happy. That's been April. <laughs>